Alright guys, we are back with another video on Kerbal Space Program. Today I will be showing off the Boeing 747. I try to make this look as real as possible. It was quite difficult getting the wings. Uh, the lift rating wasn't that good. And yeah, so let's just test this thing out. It works quite well. With maneuvering, it's pretty good too. Uh, with these uh, types of jets, like big ass ones like this, it's best not to go too high in the atmosphere, otherwise it will just spaz out, go everywhere. Let's get full throttle. Lift. Here we are. In the air. And something broke. Back wings broke. I <laughs> uh, should be fine. We don't really need them. Not that important. But as you can see, with adjusting, as I'm doing now, it's fairly easy. I'm gonna try and turn. Excellent. Good. So yeah, this is a, a very stable type of uh, machine at, at low altitudes. Let's try and land it. If we can. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But I like this design. It's very nice. The fuel will take a long time to waste. Send that off. I want to be as slow as possible when landing. But I don't want to be falling straight down. Like now I don't want to fall straight down. Right. And breathe for a break. Look how good that was. Perfect landing. And I'm shit at landing, and most people are. This is awesome. Tomstead, Sean, and Gus, thank you for coming along. Let's take him out. If we can. Oh. So you have to go here. Let's turn this on completely. Uh, I'll show you guys a trick. Um, you can make this guy walk. Then you can get the other guy out once you. Oh, yeah. Let me out. Oh, no, he went back in when I took him out. Check the other guy out. Hatch is obstructed. Hmm. Now let's take him out. I don't know what happened before, guys. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, uh, yeah. yeah. You know there's uh, scourge brackets on the keyboard. I have no idea what they're called. I can't remember. But it's they're next to the P. You click them, then you can adjust uh, what, what you want to control. So what I'm going to do, if I can control this thing. Vehicle cannot be controlled without at least one. Oh, damn. I'm going to get a crew member. Let's get one of these guys. Oh, no. I, I'm in now. Yeah, I can control it. Oh, two of these guys went back in. That's freaky. Oh, no, we'll just leave that guy out there. 
Did we run him over? No. Is he still there? Left. Left. Now. Left. Wow, it's the biggest was before. What happened? The back wing really was important. This thing ain't lifting up. I'm. Aside from the smashing the <laughs> I I don't understand what happened. Well most of the just these wings were important. Yeah, I guess so. So I've got double sided wings here. <laughs> I placed uh two wings on top of each other. You can barely see it. As you can see there are two lines. The this by here makes it obvious. When you select the wings, there are two different ones. Alright, um, I'm going to show off another type of Boeing. It's known as the Boeing Blended Wing. It's quite interesting. It's like the future of these aircrafts. This is the very similar design. I've got just uh, empty fuselage, rocket fuselage thing. What do you call it? Ro fu a fuel tank. Uh, more fuselages and yeah I try to make it look as, as real as possible wheels underneath here I had with some struts and support otherwise this thing would just be one contained at high altitude it goes like crazy but at low altitude it's pretty good and it said that Aircrafts that are, you know, the fastest type of aircraft is one with the wing. So this is this whole thing is a freaking wing. Let's go. Full throttle. Should never need to go full throttle. Can probably lift up now. Yeah. So yeah, that was fast. Very fast. And we're going quite straight. I'm gonna try and turn this thing. It's a bit harder to turn. See that? Went out of whack already. Yeah, I won't be able to control this thing. It's gone. <laughs> Goodbye, Bill. <laughs> So that's a failed aircraft that will be made in the future. I uh, hope you like this uh, very short episode. Uh